Welcome back to the Hamburger Disco Podcast, the podcast about Dirty Work, Mega Man 2, Gorillas, Oscar the Grouch, and Toy Story 2. My name is Matt, and as always, I'm joined each and every other Friday by Jay and Rum. Jay, Rum, what is the hubbub? Oh man, we're live on camera. I hate it. I hate myself. I hate uh, <laughs> season two. Season two. I. I uh, but you know, it's it's fun. It's a good. It's a good creative outlet yep. for us. So, uh, but yeah, dude, we're we're in Matt's house, Matt's home, uh, also known as the what do we call the studio? I think, we're, I think we we lunchbox tentatively studio lunchbox studios is one, but studio eighty six. Yeah, studio eighty six is good. Studio eighty six is solid. Yeah, I, I like, like that. that. One. Yeah. If you have any ideas, uh, I guess what are we doing here? Where are we? Where's this even going? YouTube, oh, TikTok, man. Instagram. Well, I mean, I guess the cat's out of the bag. We're on video now, right? So yeah, leave yeah. a comment where you're watching this. <laughs> Whatever you want the studio to be called, we're taking ideas. Uh, you know how podcasters have like listeners name for their listeners. We're pr- I love too many too. Yeah, we premature need for that. But um, <laughs> what was, sliders. Yeah, Ooh, call them sliders. That's good. Yeah, that's a good one. What's up, Sliders? It's J-Man Rum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that works. <laughs> I like your 90s radio voice. Um, but yeah, we got, uh, we got like producer Winnie, also Matt's wife, producer Winnie, but I think she's just here for uh, HR, really. for uh, <laughs> To make sure we don't say <laughs> anything too bad. Yeah. Keep us in check. Fun police. Um, <laughs> Is there anything uh, ever in the history of the world that didn't deserve a season two and got it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's us. <laughs> That's the, yeah, that's us 100%. But uh, what do we got in the background? We got like all of Matt's like toys. We got the giant burger. Oh, I see there. Yeah, there's there's a giant burger. Stanley Cup. Lard Lad. Is he Lard Lad? That's Lard Lad, Lad yeah. from The Simpsons. A lot of good references. A lot of good arts back there. So when, when was the last episode? Like May? We took a May, maybe? We took a oh, large hi- hiatus. Summer break. It was a big what, summer break. What press. burgers have you had uh, in the meantime sin- since then? You guys go first. Any I good highlights? Think. I mean, I haven't had a chance to go out to like those really fancy ones. I think the last burger I had that was a pretty solid one was Red Robins, actually. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I was going to say White Spot. So <laughs> yeah. we're, we're pretty basic here. <laughs> yeah. Not living up to the hamburger disco day right now. World travelers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Before we get to what you have planned for today, Matt. We uh, have to go over the cliffhanger that we left off on. I mean, do we have to? <laughs> we, we I'd should. rather not. We should. We should. It's a new season. Because uh, we got to go uh, uh, back to, I think we had a, what, food court draft? We all made our own yeah. food We're court. We GMs of yeah. a food court. We all had to make the best food court, picking uh, five stalls each. Yeah, and we left the fans on a big on a big cliffhanger, yeah, too. Yeah, and I everyone's agree. been asking us. For the last couple months, I've been getting at least uh, a couple messages a day. <laughs> yeah. Who won? So Who won many. the draft? <laughs> So many. It's like who shot Mr. Burns cliffhanger. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's Only all this say one our... doesn't have a twist at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll go first. My team was Chick Fil A, Shake Shack, Starbucks, Steve's Poke Bar, and Opa. Opa. Two uh, five solid picks. I think very well balanced. Uh, what do you guys have? I, okay, I'll go next. I had Pike Place Chowder, Bubble Waffle Cafe, Chachi Sandwiches, Fat Burger, and Booster Juice. Not bad. All right, hold, hold your tongues. Hold your tongues. Okay. Right. Okay. I still stand by my picks. Matt, what did you get? Are those franchises still in business today? <laughs> <laughs> still, still go to, them. Uh, to round it off, I went with the solids. You can call them safe picks. I call them the best picks. McDonald's, Tim Hortons, Popeyes, Chipotle, and my personal favorite, Panda Express. Okay. Yeah. So those are some... Well, me and Matt had some great picks. So what... um. <laughs> What were what are the results, Matt? It was a difference of five percent between winner and loser. Five <laughs> percent in third place. Yeah, with fifteen percent, Juicy Joe. Fifteen. That's generous. again. I that's still I still stand by my picks. I went with the uh, the local the local uh, choices. It's it's not my fault that all of our listeners are in the Philippines. <laughs> I, I mean, Pike Place isn't that local. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean like like uh, the Pacific Northwest? Hey, <laughs> if you haven't had Pike Place Chowder, you're missing out. I'm just I'm just saying. It's that. good. I think. Shout I mean, I think we Seattle said this cracking. in the actual podcast, but 
uh, you had some like good like indie picks, and then you like ruined it by picking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> I think at that point I was like, what do I pick at this point now? <laughs> you picked the the four local. Well, what I've got? Yeah, Munchuwak. You know. Like I don't uh, even know. People stay local. I know uh, Veras. Maybe U Grill. Oh, yeah, U Grill is yeah. pretty fun. Uh, I don't know if U Grill still around. No, I don't. Uh, I don't think it. Like Metro Town was the last one. Yeah, that's a little too local now. And in first place with forty five percent of the votes. Wow. The winner and champion of the season everyone's going to forget about <laughs> is Ramel. Congratulations. Yes. Wow. Dude, I won the season big time. I had the magic stick last season. And what, I think, what was it, 4 and 0 oh, maybe? Or? I'm just no, making no, no, solid four. picks. I think Matt had a win. So it was, I think was it was 3 or 4 the and 1. The mascot draft. <laughs> 4 and 1. Jay had a, a goose egg. <laughs> so, um, Jay got a lot of ribbons. Hey, it's a new season. That's it's all true. I gotta say. It's I can tell season. her, Mel, like, no one remembers who won the Stanley Cup last year. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, while well, we have it, do you want to bring up that you won the fantasy draft and we got the, the our fake Stanley Cup up there? We might as well talk about it. In case anyone's wondering, me and Ramel, we're in this, you know... Intense hockey pool that really only Matt pays attention to, so... And I won. And you won. <laughs> so, anyway, let's just cut that out. And, um, yeah, so it's a new season, Jay. We got more drafts this season, so you got your chance to, to catch up, yeah. do your research, it's a new season, so what do we got this week, Matt, uh, for for episode one of season two? For episode one, in honor of Halloween, we did a Halloween-themed draft recently. Let's cut to it right now. So, um, I have decided to draft for today, so... As last year's champion. As that's, last- that's your only prize. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> So we're going to debate, we're, so uh, for the new listeners, the draft is like we each take turns picking um, uh, a member of the team, and we see who has the best team at the end. So we're going to draft today. You guys ready? Okay. Hit me. We're going to draft religions. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to draft, we're going to draft chocolate bars. Producer Winnie told me that's like, I uh, had some good picks for that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, chocolate bars? Yeah, chocolate right, bars. Yeah, chocolate right. bars. So some rules, or maybe we can go through the rules. Like um, chocolate bar is like anything. Like like obviously the chocolate bars, but like Reese's, Reese's, um, Reese counts. M and M's, Smarties. Okay. Everything. Yeah, in, what like, makes the cho- it a, a chocolate? Yeah, bar. everything in like the chocolate bar, like family, but no like candy, no Skittles, no Starburst. What about like? Okay. Uh, okay. I don't want to give this away because you guys. Yeah, don't give it. away your picks. But what but... about like Terry's chocolate orange? Ooh. It's like small, but it's not in the chocolate seasonal, bar. Aisle. Seasonal. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't it, think any of us are picking that. Such yeah. a good pick. I hope but you guys I, don't pick it. I think it. I think it would count though. It technically, <laughs> yeah, is, sure. Yeah. Oh, sure. please don't pick it. Sure. I Wait, get... but then does that mean? Oh, I don't know if I want to give this one away either. You can bring it up later, and then we can okay, discuss. Okay, okay. Uh, unless you want hard rules now. All right, and then what about uh, geographic region? Oh, okay, yeah. Like dock points for anything like I that? I mean, or? our audience is mostly Canadian, so I think you're pretty safe picking the Canadian ones. But uh, yeah, so the criteria, I guess, is what would the fans choose? What okay. would the, the, the Instagram comments, Instagram um polls true so last time we got kind of iffy with the with the com uh i said it was like overall like characters and everything like that and the matt had a problem with that <laughs> so um it's just what would the fans choose so but you can like choose like their impact in pop culture their impact in in you know mascots if they okay. have any so it's how you sell it then so yeah, yeah so it's up to you what whatever you want to whatever you want is that clear enough for you matt or are you gonna have an issue uh, just one more clarification. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about like, uh, are these like, um, general store slash like supermarket chocolate bars or can you say like, um, hedgehogs, you know, mm. hedgehog question. Um, is that parties only? Like the two no, hedgehogs is, is no, general. Yeah, general. Lots of people. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and like that's... sometimes they sell hedgehogs in a pack of three, you know, it's a good that's question. Like a, we got to figure that out. Well, one thing I should have mentioned is that like, if you get like, um, M and M's or whatever you get all versions of it. Also, oh, all peanut, variations, all okay. peanut, like peanut, peanut butter, butter variations. Is going yeah. first okay. overall. Now let me okay. just write that down real quick. <laughs> so like no doubling up on that. Um, the hedgehogs is a tough one. Are there lots of examples of that? I can't think of many. 
that's like a specific chocolate like I wouldn't that. Or, like, it. or like, like what about Nanaimo bars? There's no actual brand, but like people love Nanaimo bars. But that's bars. not a chocolate bar. It's more of a dessert. It's like, it is a fudge bar though. It's made with fudge. I, I think but like maybe, it has to come in a single wrapper, yeah, okay. I think. I think maybe for the sake of like um, this contest, if we want to put some stakes in the ground, let's just say like you have to be able to buy it at a grocery, at a grocery store. store. 7-Eleven. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, can't, you, you can't buy hedgehogs at a grocery store? So that, that's not, out there. 7-Eleven yeah. or the candy aisle at a grocery store. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So no super specialty. What are you writing down? <laughs> I'm just I got a couple picks already. I know what I'm going. All with. right. Don't look. So what, what what do we do? Oh, now to... with video, now people can see us do. Uh, oh, the the draft video. order. Yeah. Uh, so just so just a quick clear, or explanation for everyone, we do rock paper scissors to do the draft order. If you win, you get to pick. I guess what order you want to be in. And just for another explanation, everything snakes. So if you pick first overall. You're not picking again till I guess the sixth spot because it goes one two three three two one, one two three etc. Dude, right. imagine if we did religions, it'd be so. <laughs> it'd be so <laughs> I'm not great. touching that. Yeah. What are the yeah. four? No, you, the four season things, three. <laughs> yeah, don't talk about religion, <laughs> politics. Uh, I feel like you can't talk about masks anymore. Uh, <laughs> vaccines, yeah, yeah. vaccines. Yeah. Put those together. Um, yeah. Uh, what's first overall? And in, in, no, no. Okay, let's not get into it. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, drafts. Uh, so how are you picking the order for this? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. All right. Here we go. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Okay, boom, boom. I'll Rock. go first, baby. Okay. So you got yeah. first. I'll go second. Okay, so I will have the third and fourth pick. Yeah. Jay will get fifth, fifth and goes around. Yeah. Okay. All right, Matt. <laughs> I will go with the number one chocolate bar in the world. Uh, you said that we get every variation oh, of the bar. I already and know this, this bar is. has like a thousand variations. Oh, I already know what this new is. New ones every year. I don't know if either of you have ever been to Japan, where I feel like they make new flavors for yeah, this bar every day. He's got it. Uh, also, I know you both are big Android fans. And we're <laughs> oh, and oh, we're cutting that oh. out. I can't even, I can't even have and that as a joke. One of the updates, yeah. Android K, was named after... The first pick overall of the chocolate bar draft. What's he doing here? Kit Kat. Oh, I thought you had like a little <laughs> no. presentation yeah. or something. Yeah. No, I'm just writing it down. That was my first pick too. Winnie is say. nodding her head because I think Woo! she agrees uh, with that one. Did you know, fun fact, Kit Kat is actually produced by a different manufacturer. In Canada, uh, in Canada and, the and the US, US yeah. yeah. And it's like a different different logo and everything too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I love how you're just adding, you're glowing. This is great. I love having. No, you. man, I, I agree with you. Dude, when, when we go to Japan, I, I pick up a whole bunch yeah, of Yeah, they're like, they're like 12 I agree bucks with that. a bag. I don't think yeah. they're the best chocolate bar, but I do think they are. Uh, they're all obviously very good, but they are like probably a, the good first pick. Yeah. I, I think. got yeah. matcha Kit Kat. I got, there's probably over 100 varieties of Kit Kat. What's your favorite one? I think I won the whole thing. I think <laughs> uh, my favorite version um I don't know. When I was in Japan, I got something that was like strawberry rose or something is pretty good. Matcha is good too. And obviously regular. Uh, quick story about Kit Kat. Uh, Winnie, producer Winnie thinks I'm a freak um, because sometimes I eat Kit Kats like a chocolate bar. Like I don't break them first. Oh, I, I do I bite that. into them. And she's like, you're a monster. Especially the two packs at Halloween. Like, yeah, those like, are the ones. Those ones that's, yeah. that's when she caught me doing it. You're kind of weird if you do it on the four, on the original four <laughs> packs, I think though. I'll buy like two of the. Oh, four here you go. You then. pulled out a yeah. photo. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> why she's playing. Yeah, the you're four. a monster if you bite into four the at four. the same time. I'm not here to share. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Kit All right, Kat Jay. Number one. Do All we right. have to continue this, or should we just, end just give it, it to you? Like Kit Kat's good, but I mean, it's good. Well, what are your other picks? It's as long awesome. as, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my if we're gonna go, if we're gonna go with the variety. Like I said, season two, clean slate. Yeah, that's true. Kit Kat's great, but it's not. I, I would say it's not one of the first that you go with in that ha Halloween variety pack, you know? The ones that go first, for me in particular, whenever you find it, is it's got to be this one. It's the Twix. <sighs> Twix is like the number one pick that I always go for in that Halloween variety pack. And Halloween's coming up. You know I'm going to be trying to find those boxes with the yeah, Twix in them. Yeah, Twix is yeah. what I was going to pick. So Even first, I think I would have picked Twix. And even Twix. variations of Twix. Like, have you guys had Twix peanut butter? Mm. Chef's kiss. I'll Chef's give you. Kiss. I'll give you this. So my personal favorite candy bar is Twix. Me too. Um, I love it. You know what's funny? The uh, the actual like Halloween candy bar of Twix takes away the whole gimmick <laughs> because it only comes with like <laughs> one. one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But and it's tiny. Yeah. yeah. But it is my number one favorite candy bar. I love it. 
Uh, but going number one, like I knew I had to pick Kit Kat. It's like a thousand Kit Kats. I know this is like really random and weird, but I have this weird thing when I eat Twix is I'll eat the caramel part first and then I'll save the cookie last. I don't know why. Oh, that is oh, weird. That is really <laughs> weird, right? And then I'll like, like eat the cookie after. But hey, like, Jay, what's the Twix slogan? I don't know. Ooh, Bet run. you can't eat just one. I'm oh, joking. Both, that's a joke. What is it? What is the slogan? <laughs> it's two for me, none for you. Two for me, none for you. Oh, that's so you. old. Yeah, they haven't used that one, in yeah. like, that's so old. Do they update no, slogans? No, I think the can latest you Twix. The Kit Kat jingle? You remember that? No, where's it going? Give, Give me, me a break. break. Oh, Everyone yeah, knows yeah. that one. Everyone that, knows that one. That's still around. That's okay, around. so Twix... I think their current campaign is like, are you a left Twix or are you a right Twix person? Oh, because oh, like too political for my <laughs> take away some yeah, points. That's true. I, bipartisan on take away some points. I didn't even think about that, yeah. but it's pretty funny. It's like because they're you're right though because there are tons. I remember when we were younger, there was Twix. It kicks. Do you remember that? Oh, they were just going through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Twix is my favorite. Uh, Halloween, it's tiny. Let's like do. It. Let's do. Well, maybe we'll do this after, but we'll do. The, we should do the percentage of a Halloween candy versus the regular like bar, because Twix is like ten percent of a regular, ha- and K- Kit Kat is like. Oh yeah. Thirty three. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. well, we could do that after. You get nothing because you get like a Costco size sample. Picks three we and could four. do. We could do the exact math on mine because. <laughs> got. Uh, my third overall pick is going to be. I believe it is the most popular candy Oof. by a lot I'm of nervous. people. I'm like, it, I'm way Are more nervous, nervous doing this in person. Yeah, because that's I'm true. like, I want, I want him to not pick the ones I've got. But <laughs> I'm sad you picked Twix. But like, yeah, I'm going with the Reese peanut butter cup. Oh, okay. So wait, are we allowing Reese peanut butter cup? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah that. <laughs> I think that's the only one that rivals Twix on yeah, uh, and Halloween. That was that was those one. one those orange yeah. things oh, when are I, going. When you get a Twix or a Reese cup, uh, it's oh. like a full bar. It feels like a yeah, full bar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because we're talking percentages, you get thirty three percent, or in the states you get fifty yeah. percent. <laughs> I was gonna say it's three versus two in the U S. Yeah, the but US, in the U S. are bigger. Two cups? No, oh, do you guys know thicker. this? That Reese is Reese in Reese's, Canada and yeah. Reese is in the U S. A. Yeah. Or the or backwards? I don't know. Oh, is that because that's because of the Quebec law, right? Is, is that true? Because remember, oh, Tim they can't Morton's have they can't have apostrophe uh, apostrophes. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. You're welcome. You're welcome. I don't know if that's it, but that'd be a good reason. Yeah, that's pretty. Maybe. That's pretty interesting. Have to check okay. that. Uh, let's go over that got? Quebec law. Is that they for packaging? They don't. They has to be completely French, so you can't have the apostrophe because it's not French. It's not French. Something like you have to be able to translate it to French or something. But yeah, how it, it goes back to Tim Hortons. So Tim Hortons does not have an apostrophe. Yeah. in the name, and it was because of a Quebec signage yeah. law, I believe. Uh, right. So that's my third pick. Your fourth. Um, you're my up. fourth pick. I believe I'm going to go with, I'll just take it because um, if you guys didn't know, I uh, lived in the New York City oh. area for a while and okay. you go to Times Square. Oh no. Oh, no. And you go to Times Square and one of the most pop, you know, like retail doesn't really do well in Times Square. It's just like souvenir shops. But the one thing that does well is the M&M store. Okay. Is that and why he, he, he made a big point to say, hey, Eminem is allowed? Because <laughs> I think this whole draft was so he could say he lived in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Every single draft. Uh, yeah, Eminem's are solid. And okay. I get all of them. I get the peanuts. I get the I get the regular, the OGs, the, butter, the, the coconut, caramel. peanut yeah. butter. Uh, yeah, there's... Uh, the hazelnuts, too. <laughs> there's a lot. There's, peanut butter is ooh, my look at this. Eminem's. Winnie's pulled it up. They got all the all the flavors. The, oh, what about Christmas? The, uh, the, the M&M's are like such a big thing. Remember the minis, the tubes? Yeah. The com- like, remember the commercials of the minis? Yeah. They'd be flying around. Yeah. Remember, like, uh, Their commercials are on point. They're so funny. I, th- I, I like how you can do- eat them. Too. I think they like, still run that other. Christmas commercial where they're like, he does exist. And they do, <laughs> oh, yeah, and they, yeah, when yeah. they run into Santa, yeah. and they're like, they do exist. I think they still run that, if oh, I'm not mistaken. Speaking of the mini M&Ms, too, like, you guys love that Kirkland signature M&M cookie that they got with like the m M&M. Oh, man. That's a good cookie. Oh, they put minis in there. Ooh, how about yeah. M&M's in a cookie? Yeah. Yeah. That's Come a good on. One. Hey, so Come Rum's on. got two solid uh, non-chocolate bar picks oh, for his... Uh, if you want to be a little technical. B- building yeah, his yeah, roster. Yeah. 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 To uh, <laughs> things you can't hold. I actually was surprised he didn't go for this one. Like, it's usually... Like, th- this candy bar or chocolate bar is, like, big enough to even have, like, Super Bowl ads. Like, from what I remember. Um, 
I'm gonna go with uh, with the hangry the hangry Terminator here. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Snickers. Snickers. What's the hangry Terminator? No, I'm just saying because usually their, oh. their commercials are all like, "Are you hangry?" Like, yeah, yeah. And then, Joe Pesci yeah. commercial. Yeah. They they did a bunch of those. Yeah, like obviously Snickers. Uh, I think Snickers probably spends the most on advertising, oh, yeah. and for yeah. for good reason. Um, not for good reason, but they do a good job. I don't think it's anyone's favorite to be honest it's i, I it's put it up there with, i put it up there with the mars bar <laughs> in that it's like nah, really you, like, you yeah. don't like mars well they're not and they're not my favorite like snickers everyone likes favorite. but mars is not my favorite it, it, snickers is always like a snickers solid, is always there choice, yeah man. they're always yeah. there like yeah. snickers um they're up there for sure i don't think like I'll, i said it i'll say it again it's not it's no one's favorite but it, it's pretty solid yeah and it is pretty filling. Because all, all the favorites have been picked. I mean, my personal favorites, mm-hmm. Reese, Kit Kat. All right. So. Okay, Matt, you got two picks, my friend. Oh, my goodness. Look at your list. <laughs> my goodness. I did, not think, I did not think I'd have two in a row. Okay. Pick two. I totally forgot how Snake works. Yeah. I do have two in a row. This is tough. For the sixth pick overall, I'm going to go, uh, as, as you both know, I'm very patriotic. I'm going to go with a bar that Americans ask their Canadian friends oh. to bring across the border whenever they go, because they love it there, but for some reason, they don't have it there. I don't know why. It's Crispy a- Crunch. <laughs> 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 it's one of my favorite bars. and uh, This one's the it, best, I think. It is very, very good. And... What I think it's in what the same box as the Kit Kat box for Halloween. Yeah. I'm going to go with number six overall, Coffee Crisp. I love Coffee Don't Crisp, Don't pretend like you just, you're 100% sure it's the same box as the Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that yeah, favorite so box. It? Kit Kat, Smarties, Arrow, and... Uh, but you know, I wonder why. Why why is Coffee Crisp not sold in the U.S.? Is it just the, there's no market for it? or? I don't know, but I was at a PAX once, yeah. and you know, it's a lot of Vancouver game developers, and... Um, U.S. developers and like some of them are friends. One of them brought a whole box of coffee crisp for these um, these American this American company. They were so happy, like they dove into it right away. Really? I think I've yeah. said this like three times, but coffee crisp is the best chocolate yeah. bar. I, I think <laughs> like, I have I've a seen... coffee crisp in my bag right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's it's it's. I don't know what it is. I mean, it tastes like a Kit Kat. Really, it's a better version of a Kit Kat. Yeah. I think. I but it, I think it also falls under the whole. To me personally, it falls under the Snickers thing too, where it's like it's not always your first choice when it comes to chocolate bars. Like for me, it's usually like Reese. Like whenever I'm in the the, the, the grocery aisle, but Coffee Crisp, when you see it in a bowl of Halloween candy, you're like, well, you got to pick it out. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, let's give them props for Halloween, uh, calling it Coffin Crisp. That's a good one. That, I love that's, a, saw that's that such yeah. a good one. Oh wow. Okay. Coffin Crisp. They did. They did like a parody for all four of them, and you could buy them as full bars. In some I highly kind of doubt they something is as nearly as good as Coffin Crisp because it's such a good one. <laughs> I don't one. even know what they did for Kit Kat. <laughs> Kit Kat with a C. <laughs> it's like I don't know. The black what? cat. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh, Kit, Kit Kat. Kat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That took me a second because I put the C at the at the first the word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kit Kat and make uh, it. That's a that's a good one. Yeah, and I mean it's no coffin crisp, but. How about the favorites box? Uh, I don't think anyone in Canada is buying Smarties that's not in a favorites <laughs> box. Like Smarties are like always the last ones left in the box. Like you you go three days after Halloween, you look in that favorites box. It's only Smarties. Yeah, in there. maybe yeah. some arrow. A couple arrows. <laughs> definitely the other two are gone. Oh yeah. Um, with Smarties, though, when I was a kid, I remember buying them because I thought their marketing was great. So they added a purple Smarty and he had like sunglasses on. And I was like, I have to get that purple Smarty. <laughs> and so I think I think everyone went out to get Smarties. Just because of just that. Just to get that one? new purple Smarty. He had wow. he was basically the first emoji, like with shades on. It was crazy. That's pretty good. I actually yeah, you know what? I, I don't think I've seen I don't think I see Smarties like full size Smarties. No anymore, one, right? I swear they only make sales in those favorite box yeah. favorites boxes. Like does McDonald's still have Smarties McFlurry? Oh, that's a good question. Before. Oh, and a McFlurry. I guess I could. Yeah. I guess I could I buy that. I wouldn't go too far. I feel like you might be uh, offending a, a sub <laughs> Nestle Canada <laughs> demographic. Yeah. yeah um, oh, Smarties. Producer fans. Winnie. Oh, loves, producer oh, Winnie loves Smarties. Twenty five percent of the people in the room are Smarties <laughs> fans. Okay. We take it back. We underestimated it. Sorry, guys. 
and gals. Um, okay, so who's next? So I'm next. Oh, I'm you got snakes, the next so pick. So I got seventh. So now we're at a point where I think all the hits have been taken. Yeah. And you go. Smarty, oh, Smarty's oh, available. What do you got? What do you got? It. <laughs> Wait, how many? How many picks are we doing? Five. I have. I have two. No, but we're doing three or five. Five. Or five. Okay, five. Okay, okay. Okay. So now we're at the point where I think I have a bunch of my favorites here, and now I think I'm just gonna try to pick things that I think you guys might pick, and I'm gonna hope that you don't go after some of my uh, sleeper picks that are really good. So I'm gonna go first with the most obvious, which is one of my favorite bars. I know there's a lot you could pick right now, but I wouldn't feel right if I drafted a bar that I'm not like really crazy about. But what I am crazy about is the seventh pick overall. I like Crunch. I'm gonna crunch put is crunch good. Up okay. There. Crunch is solid. Wait, is Crunch the same as Crunchy? No. 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 Crunch is a ten. Crunch is like a two. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said Crunch and Crunchy. Oh, I don't. Crunch under- is the one with the with the Rice Krispies. Yes. The yeah. Rice yeah. Crunch is okay. blue. I don't understand. Wait, y'all don't like Crunchy? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> no, Crunchy like is uh, Crunchy is uh, it's hit or miss. Sometimes okay. Crunchy's good. Okay. Um, I think when I first bit into a Crunchy as a kid, I was so confused. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's so what it is. The yeah. texture just throws everyone yeah. off. I was like, is this old? Like, am I eating an old bar? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Crunch, yeah. I loved it growing up. I love that it's like wrapped in foil, and I love rice. They don't do the foil bones. still, do no, they? No, they're plastic now. They don't do the foil. Oh, oh but the foil was a good, a yeah. good treat. Yeah, I like the reflective. Yeah, I like cool. that. I always remember of Crunch. I don't know why. Maybe you could pull it up, uh, Winnie. But Crunch reminds me of Shaq. It was Shaq the face of Crunch was he? for a bit. Um, was bonus, bonus I mean, Shaq, Shaq's done. Uh, he pretty much uh, endorses anything. So he did Shaq Fu. <laughs> Sega Genesis. Shaq. Yeah, look at that. Crunch did an ad with Shaq in 2003. Yeah, I don't know why. Sorry, that's a that's a that's an off topic thing. But anyway, well, Crunch is a good pick. Just to confirm, Shaquille O'Neal did an ad for Crunch. Best basketball player in the world. <laughs> best analyst right now or commentator. He loves crunch. <laughs> best rapper. Debatable on, on both of those. Best, best video game character. Best video game character. Best actor. Yeah. yeah. Best police. Shout man, out, volunteer shout out to Steel. Yeah. Steel is great. Um, not really. Uh, okay. So is it my turn? I feel no, like no, oh, it's, it's still turn. Jay's turn. It's okay. Turn. Jay, go you know, on. And I mentioned earlier uh, in the tof- toffee realm. Okay. What do you got? So I think I'm going to go with the toffee pick here. Actually, is it toffee? I don't even know what's inside it, but it, I know it's it's amazing. Um, and I'm gonna pick it for the nostalgia factor. I'm, I think I'm gonna go with the uh, the the Bart Simpson choice. Oh, Jay! I'm gonna go with the Bart Simpson on, choice, man. and I'm gonna go with the Butterfinger. That's the first mascot. Butterfinger. That, that I one, think. No one lays a finger on my oh, Butterfinger. Yeah, that's yeah, a good that's one. The one. It's so, not the best, but it's is it got... toffee though? It's toffee inside, right? It's like a cl- flaky, a flaky buttery right toffee. In a Butterfinger, I thought it was peanut butter. Oh, it's made by Ferrero. Yeah, it's crispy wafers. Okay, layers of crispy wafers. Peanut buttery texture. It's just great. No it tastes toffee. really good. I think Butterfinger is one of the better tasting. I wouldn't even sure. think it was peanut when, butter. When Butterfinger is in, you know, those Halloween packs, yeah. I, I think in that pack I go for the Butterfinger. Oh, okay, okay. What is it? But I think it's Butterfinger Crunchy or Crispy Crunch. Is that the one with Wonder Bar too? Yes. Wonder Bar. Are we, maybe I'm thinking of Wonder Bar. I don't know if Butterfinger. Yeah, they're both or... yellow. You're in the, Wonder you're in the same. Wonder Bar is similar to Butterfinger. Wonder no. Bar would be one of my picks because it's good, but I don't think it has enough cachet. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to go. I... Okay, well, All right. your choice so now. Yeah. I am actually going to pick Wonder Bar okay. because I think it's Wonder like, Bar? it's only in Canada, I believe, Wonder Bar. Wonder Bar. And... It's only in Canada, I think, but I think it's like one of the best tasting chocolate bars. Yeah. It's like soft. Butterfinger is like hard. Wonder Bar is like soft and chewy. It's one of my favorites. It's, 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 it's one I missed definitely when I was uh, stateside. And that is my third pick. That's right. And you're, my first up again. My you're first bar pick. On the clock. <laughs> and my, <laughs> you can see that I'm like scrolling through my picks here. But my fourth pick. I am going to go a little bit off the board. Okay. And I'm going to pick I'm going to pick Bueno. Oh. <laughs> okay. By Ferraro. You wouldn't go with just the egg itself, yeah, eh? I was actually going to okay. The, get the toy. Oh. Too late. Oh, too late. Too late. Hardcore. Too late. No, I like Bueno. Okay. So, I mean, Wait, what pick is this for you? That's this is my fourth. fourth pick. So he could go for the fifth. Well, you guys can take oh, it. Ahead, there's there's a bunch ahead. of, but anyway, I I I like Bueno. It it tastes good. It tastes like a it tastes like a uh, Nutella. 
American Vic. Should definitely. I, should I have picked Kinder Surprise? <laughs> definitely. I mean, the Kinder board. Surprise is, is probably the my pick over this one. Kinder sure. Surprise would is have been Kinder Surprise in it's Canada? Canada. It's only in well, it's, it's only in Canada. It's no, only no, no, no. It's, or is it the other way around? It's, it's it's in Canada, but I think they have it in other countries, just not in the U.S. Yeah. So oh, the, the okay. U.S. they're not allowed to have the um, toy inside. The toy is choking inside. hazard. But I think they've solved that. I think that there's a, a different way to open the egg now. In the states, for for um to get past that. Can producer um, Winnie look that up real quick? Does Kinder one, is Kinder eggs sold in the U.S. still or what? All right. So while she's pulling that up, you go 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 pick your pick, Jerry. All right. Your, your so four, your fourth pick, fourth, fifth pick, fourth fourth pick. Okay. So my fourth pick um is actually gonna be, I don't know. It's not one that I typically that I typically like eating, but it's got a lot of clout. Um, it's one of those ones that you see a lot in like duty free stores. Uh, oh no! You, you definitely see oh, a lot no. of people buying these as souvenirs. Oh no! Um, I think it's up there with you know with the limited edition ones that you see. Oh no! Costco has these in really really huge formats. Right. All right, let's spit it out, Jay. Let's right. go here. Is, is it in old, a with is the it old in a Matterhorn? Cool you know yeah. <laughs> the Matterhorn. I think I'm gonna go with uh, with Toblerone. Oh. Toblerone is uh, that wonderful uh, that wonderful triangular shaped chocolate bar. I think I was saving that for my yeah. last pick. Yeah. And there's nougat in it, a little bit of nougat. Toblerone is such a good like for some reason there's like uh, there's quality associated yeah, with it. Yeah, totally. Like, luxury even you can give yeah. someone a Toblerone bar as a gift. I think they're so like dense with sweetness yep. that like they just they just like taste like. They're very sweet and they taste like luxury. But yeah. it's also shareable too. I love that little aspect. Oh, of I think that's part of it. Break it off and share. Bueno too. Same with Reese's. <laughs> same with M and M's. Just, just, just pitching, pitching here. Uh, sorry. Uh, let's just see here. So Kinder eggs are still banned in America. It looks like. Just looking it up. Is it because they're too small, or is yeah. it has to do with like toys and chocolate it being says, sold? Yeah, it says products can't contain a non non nutritive object and that's why oh maybe that's why coffee crisp (laughs) isn't too much crisp (laughs) too much coffee maybe maybe that's it no that can't be it all right so So, matt what is your last pick no it's my fourth pick just to recap i'm at kit kat coffee crisp and crunch oh last two picks oh yeah i'm back to back again i don't like this being back to back i think jay's got it good because he's got a break in between to kind of do some analysis uh maybe it will take your uh kinder surprise room (laughs) Um, for my fourth pick overall, or yeah, for my fourth pick, I will pick again, this is off the board, but I'm trying to straight, stay true to myself and pick bars that I really, really like. And you guys might like this bar. I think for a minute it was like the it bar. It was the hot bar that everyone wanted. Time out. Like maybe no time out would be <laughs> such a deep cut. And that was the, time out. That, is that so- was the bar. That was the it bar. Like I bought so many. That was yeah. Time out came out. What was that? Like ninety eight maybe. And it was what is it? Like a fake Twix basically. Kind of. It it is like two bars. Yeah. Uh, there's wafers inside. I don't know if it had caramel, but like time out was so big for its fifteen minutes of fame. Here's why. With Time Out, um, so there's a show called, everyone knows, Third Rock from the Sun, mm-hmm. right? And Third Rock from the Sun had this like very special 3D episode. Yeah. And the only way you can get the 3D glasses to watch it was you had to go out and buy a Time Out bar. And the Time Out really? bars came with the glasses. Yeah, that's insane. So like that's everyone really was buying Time Out bars yeah. just to watch this like stereoscopic like clip of Third that's Rock from crazy. the Sun. That's crazy. And I think Tim, uh, the whole TJF, all four i think home improvement was one of them i think because i remember yeah i remember there's like a i think they had like a like what they called soft and cold cold open they had a cold open where they were like putting tools yeah because i I, I, yeah that's what i do remember because i think on in syndication when i was like growing up i'd watch home improvement and they were doing that weird (laughs) thing and it and like he was like swinging a a two by four (laughs) to like the camera and it was so weird (laughs) anyway that's insane that like that they got a prime time four prime time shows yeah. to sign up for that. That's like, imagine like Netflix released a show where like you can only have a feature where if you bought like a like a chocolate bar in a store. Yeah, like that's that's pretty, out, that's pretty crazy. Easier bar. back then though too, right? Like you remember like there was a lot of those like call in things like call in contests where you would just get like the packaging from like a, a chip bag or a cal- yeah, or like a, like that's a true. Imagine like box. the distribution issue yeah. too, like yeah. But we got our glasses and we watched it and it was great. <laughs> and they weren't like red blue glasses that came with like magazines. They were like Oh, like different. legit 3D they, glasses. I think they were yeah. like polarized. Um, but yeah, 
It's not timeout. That's a good pick, though. We should, if we ever do a deep cut draft. Oh, that wasn't your <laughs> pick. Okay. No. Deep cut draft. That's in there. But uh, my pick is. I think I'd rule that deep cut draft. <laughs> <laughs> my fourth pick is going to be, and I think you guys will both like this bar. It is, if I remember the name, Hershey's Cookies and Cream. Oh, uh, that's, that's a, good, a one. good one. That's a good one. I was going to pick. Oh, man. That's a good one. That I mean, I haven't eaten one in like. 18 years mm-hmm. but when that came out that was like that was something it was the it bar for it a was while, yeah right? everyone right. wanted it they're like what they yeah. have chocolate bars that don't look yeah. like chocolate yeah, yeah. when well, you know in the hershey halloween pack or the christmas pack or whatever i'm going straight for the uh the cookies and cream and then after i'm going for the crackle which is a ripoff of crunch <laughs> yeah crackles i like crackle better than crunch i think anyway uh what is your last pick there matthew oh, you know what my last pick you know what I'm gonna go for? Yeah, I'll go for the um, the variety just in case there is a kid out there who's voting on this, and you know I'll I'll be the only one who has a toy included in their set. I'm gonna go for my final pick. I will choose the Kinder Surprise Egg. All right. I feel like. Uh, did, did, I think I ha- like isn't Bueno like just kind of like already <laughs> like. Bueno is kind of like the M and M brand, and then M M&M and M is like peanut butter. Mm. I don't know. You can you can have it. You can have it. You can have it. I'll just if I lose this one, which <laughs> I, I'm 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 not gonna like like I'm not gonna take away your points, but I'll definitely make a stink about it. Dude, how could you lose? You have Wonder Bar. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Bar is so good. For my last pick, I think I'm going to go probably with another marketing clout one, like a marketing ploy. Um, for the longest time, they probably had the biggest like mystery out there. I think it actually still is a mystery. Okay, okay. It still is a mystery. Not right? to me. <laughs> you know how to get the caramel in the Cadbury caramel bar? They That's inject it with a syringe. <laughs> is that true? Is I that confirmed? I actually don't know. Is that confirmed when he's looking it up? <laughs> yeah. But that like is no perfect. results found. <laughs> like it's still a mystery. Yeah. Mine is going to Google be Google zero results. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Let's see. We don't know exactly how they do it. We don't know, but that is my last pick. Is the uh, the Cadbury caramel bar? It's a good good pick. I can't yeah. believe that Toblerone went ahead because I really wanted Toblerone. Yeah. One of my favorite candies that obviously is not a candy bar, um, but I'm just bringing it up anyways was Toffee or maybe it was Toffee Toffee yeah, yeah, yeah. No one Toffee. no one knows. It's a it's also a mystery like caramel. Like no one knows how to pronounce it. <laughs> um, do you guys remember those packs where it came with the four Hershey's things? Where it came with the Hershey. Milk, Hershey Dark, Mr. Oh. Good Bar, and Crackle. I love Mr. Good Bar and Crackle. Those are the best ones. Yeah, nobody, well, nobody... I brought that up. I said Crackle yeah. was a ripoff of Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but specifically the the four the yeah. those packs. Like, <laughs> so they yeah they started they adding, still have those? they started adding um, uh, cookies and cream to that. Oh, yeah. that's a good move. Oh. Did they remove the dark chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't need two of the same. <laughs> All right, so Rob, you are right. last overall, which is one of the best places to be. You have all you have yeah, your choice of all the, all all the, the bars. Yeah. That I mean, like I don't think I, I can't. I forgot. I, I forgot to pick Big Turk. I can't believe there's, it out there. there's a lot. So I mean, are we gonna give him some ideas or what? He's looking. Wait? He's looking. I yeah. am trying to look, dude. I'm I'm running light, but you know what? I am gonna pick as my last bar, Mister Irrelevant. I will pick. This is a tough one. I hate having dead silent, but uh, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with Glossettes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sticking with the non-bar bar. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah. I have one bar and so it's, just and it's case, wunderbar. Just in case people who voted for you like handheld like candies, but don't like m and <laughs> you got them covered with Glossettes. Glossettes, well, Glossettes raisins, is like right? a classic, classic. Um, What's your favorite I one? I never like Glossettes. Oh, maybe. Glossettes is like a classic movie theater snack. Like you yeah, got the guess, peanuts yeah. and the, or the raisins. I don't know, right, raisins uh, is a, do you want to do a quick recap? Do you remember your bars or do you want me to read off my list? Do you have all of our bars? We've got all of them. Okay, let's hear it. So Ramel, who just wrapped up, he has Reese Cups, M&M's, Wonder Bar, Bueno, 
and Gloss he said, started oh, off strong. Wow. Started off real strong, actually. I'll take the L on that. <laughs> I'm, I just really want Jay to win one so that he... Jay's, like, been pushing to not do drafts because he hasn't won one, and I like doing them, so I'm just letting him have one. Giving me, giving me the, the, the win there. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jay, who has a pretty strong list right now, number one is Twix, then he followed up with Snickers, then Bart Simpson's Butterfinger, following that is Toblerone, and his last one is Caramilk. All in all, not bad. A couple safe choices in there, um, I think. <laughs> you can't but, really have safe. But solid. Anyway. Then we have me. I have uh, number one, Kit Kat, followed by Coffee Crisp, then Crunch, then Hershey's Cookies and Cream, ending it off with uh, Kinder Surprise. You know, I think, I mean, what do you guys think? Who Are we going to call this one? On who, who do you think won? Or, I, think I mean, we, we all know that Rum probably took the L on this oh, one. Oh, <laughs> wait. Hey, I got some heavy hitters that might carry the load. Yeah, I mean, ramel has got gloss sets. <laughs> <laughs> so don't count them out. Like, there's raisin gloss sets. There's uh, peanut gloss sets. Yeah. You guys didn't see the gloss set store in Times Square when you were there? <laughs> <laughs> and we are back. And we have candy in front of us. That was a lot of fun, guys. Uh, the results aren't in yet, obviously. Uh, please vote uh, where voting is. This is the applicable. post. This is the post game show. We get our last chance to I convince mean, people. And I think I've got us, a great so, chance so, right now. Some of us need convincing, <laughs> so we got it right in front of you. We're gonna try some of these. What do you guys? What do you guys think? What do you? Any, anything? There was some solid picks there. I mean, I'm just looking at the list there. I think you know, if I had to say, Matt had some good ones in there. You started off strong, but I think. I think towards the end you pulled a J. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think so. I think Rum has the single best pick, which is a Reese cup. Yeah. Everyone loves Reese yeah. cups, and uh, the single worst pick. He's got uh, the he's got time. the best. Have you guys pick, tr- okay? I, think, too, I brought it. I brought it here. Have you guys tried Bueno? I would die. I can't. Oh, Jay can't eat hazelnut. <laughs> yeah, I think those are for only people eight years old and under. <laughs> no, uh, that's what this that's is. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> you picked Kinder Surprise. I still think. I still think we. I, I should. I should. It should have been an illegal pick. I don't know. Surprise! Look, they're like the same. I think I, think, I, I should have had them both. So you think it's an illegal pick because you think Kinder Surprise is so good. <laughs> yeah. You wish you had Kinder no, Surprise. No, well, like, kind of. But like, team. these are the same pick. So no I don't one know. caught it. The gloss sets was hiding behind the Kinder oh, Surprise. <laughs> gloss sets. Say hey, the raisin. Oh, you got all three packs, dude. <laughs> they still sell these, dude. So when do, when do those these. expire? Like two thousand and one. <laughs> Dude, I found these at a 7-Eleven. They're, they're not with the chocolate bars. They're like with the candy and stuff like that. But these are solid for like for like uh, the movie theater. Let's let's bust some of these open. I haven't tried these in a long How time. How old are those, dude? Yeah. Dude, you, it's <laughs> crazy. Honestly, the UPC code is one. <laughs> <laughs> Live reaction. No, these are good. Yeah? I'll Take a couple. I'll try one. I've never seen these before. I think they're making new ones. Well, you know what? The, it says best ever on the, on the on the cover. So best ever what, though? What do you think that is? Best ever? Uh... No, I'm sorry. No. That's it's a it. no for me. Okay, wait. Raisins are, are very hit and miss, but let's go with the classics. Mm. Peanut? No way. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Glossette lovers. I'm not, I'm not buying it. Okay. Dude, there's so much chocolate here. We're gonna have to like spit some of these out. Yeah, we're gonna have to like Somalia style it and just like taste it. And it's not yeah, bad. I don't. Crunchy. I don't know if it's the best ever. Like it says so on the box. But <laughs> That's a bold claim. Might, might yeah. be a it's a very bold claim. But there's definitely a reason why um, the hashtag for Glossettes has one post in the last uh, <laughs> four months. <laughs> Did you write these? What's going on? It is true. Glossettes used to be in the Halloween mixes. They they're definitely not there anymore. No. Yeah, they didn't get replaced by like anything. Was, they were there yeah. and they were gone. I don't even know what mix they came in. I had a hard time finding this guy in the in, yeah. the, in the Halloween boxes. Well, I, I read that they're discontinued in the states. In the U.S. Yeah, in the U.S. Oh. Why? I don't know. Shaq uh, Ferrero Rocher since, bought since them. He retired. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you they know, not Nestle in uh, the U.S.? Uh, no. Ferrero Rocher has the uh, the the rights to them now. In the US. They stopped putting these in the foil. That was their downfall. Yeah. They used yeah. to be wrapped in foil and it yeah. felt premium. Dude, I'm opening this bueno up because I so, haven't had it in a long time. I haven't had it since I was eight. <laughs> this is it, Yo, can I can I call one of those Kinder Surprises actually? I think we're gonna save that for, <laughs> for like 
because there's three, so maybe we'll, there's we'll so save that. There's so much candy. We're going to yeah. save the Kinder Surprise for uh, a toy build-off race. Who can build the toy fastest? Okay. It's, it's okay. very moist audio. No. We're eating right now. Sorry. Apologies yeah, what in do, advance. What did we miss? We missed a bunch. We missed, like... Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll, I'll hop in first because there was one that I, it was going to be my fifth pick overall, but because of the Kinder Surprise controversy, I had to grab it. But my fifth pick overall was going to be one of my favorites as a child, Rolo. Rolo was like good. Looked like Mentos. You can carry a Those, Mentos and a Rolo Those together. are rare. They're not up at Halloween. I don't see them too often. I think they've put all their money into like the ice cream game. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Mm, Rolo, yeah. Oh, actually, I've seen them in like... Rolo drumsticks. Um, I don't know what to call them. Office candy packs. You know, they're just... Hmm? It's not a huge it's just pack like a of candy. One. Yeah. Mmm. It's like a like a bag like the like ones that you leave in the bowl. It's like a four dollar bag of candy. Yeah, yeah. 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 It comes with like a or like yeah. you might see it in the same bowl as like a Werther's original or something yeah. like that. But I think like McFlurries too. Those. Oh, and, do they still have Rolo McFlurries? They used. I, I think the McFlurries are only Oreo and uh, M and M's now. I think, isn't it? And Smarties. And Smarties. And Smarties. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, Smarties here, M and M's. Smarties. Oh yeah. In the US. Yeah. Um, I was looking when I went to go buy this crunch bar. I actually saw a um, really good one I haven't had in a long time was Score. I remember Score McFlurries were really good. good. Yeah. Score. I like the crunch in the Score. They're really thin and yeah. small. Score's not a Halloween one either, I don't think. But no. Score is solid. That's a, I think that's Canadian exclusive. Like, what else we got? Like, like O. Henry. Yeah. Which I think is on here. Oh, these guys, Crispy Crunch. Where's that? I saw it here. Crispy Crunch. Crispy Crunch is a weird one to me. I'm gonna put this with uh, Wonder Bar. (laughs) (laughs) Crispy Crunch. Mr. Big. Um, Oh yeah, I haven't had seeds these in a long time. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Big and and O. Henry. I'll put them together also in a group of like. eh. Mr. Bar and O. Henry like are always. O. Henry peanut butter is up there though. Mm. I have to say, O. Henry peanut butter is a good one. Dude, I was getting like this crunch and these glossettes and there is like a pack. There's like a stack of like 50 Eat Mores. Like who's, who's eating Eat Mores? Who's eating eat Dude, the cashier, when you showed up with crunch and glossette, they were like, <laughs> yeah. are, are, do you run a museum? <laughs> yeah. Are you like, stalking a museum like, right oh, now? Do you want some of the Eat Mores? They're yeah. having a huge sale on these Eat Mores. I haven't seen one person eat an Eat What more. period piece no. are you filming right now? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you buy all three too <laughs> i bought all three to like i, I need like a bit a boost i need like <laughs> as much like help as i can get but uh they're pretty good i like them almonds i haven't tried those but, i think um, they need like at least at the very least a rebrand maybe they could put sunglasses on them like they did with yeah, the yeah. purple smarties <laughs> yeah it's not a great name either Glossettes. i mean glossettes who makes glossettes hershey Hit us up, Hershey. We can uh, we can remarket Glossettes for you. Yeah, we're gonna bring <laughs> Glossettes back. Yeah. Bring them back. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's like a bunch. Like uh, after eight, you guys like like mint chocolate. Mint chocolate. Yeah. After eight is the only mint chocolate that I can think of. I can think like, maybe like Hershey has one or something like that. Yeah, or like Lint. Like oh, oh we Lint. missed Lint too. Yeah. There's yeah. a bunch of like seasonal ones yeah. that we like. Terry's chocolate orange. Yeah, you mentioned <laughs> yeah, that. You mentioned, yeah. Frere Rocher yeah. is obviously. Toffee Fay. I always think classic. of Frere Rocher when I think of uh, Toffee Fay. Frere Rocher, like people have said it's like played, but like as soon as you see it right in front of you and it pops in your mouth and melts. Like, yeah. Frere or those Frere Rocher, Rocher gift packs that you can get at Costco. Oof. Yeah. Ooh. Those are good. Don't they come with three? There's like a white one yeah. and there's yeah. like that, that square one. Yeah. So, oh. I like that square one that comes yeah. with it. But like nothing, nothing, nothing's going to, nothing's going to top a Frere Rocher, honestly. So um, there's also like weird bars that like you always see, but you've never had one. Like Three Musketeers. You've never had a Three Musketeer? No, have you no. guys had a Three Musketeers? Wow. Before? I no, put, they're good. Yeah. They're I good. put like Three Musketeers, Milky Way, Mars. They're all in the same. They all yeah, like they're they all, all taste, kind of the yeah. same. I think like some weird like like soft toffee or type of. Yeah. Would you put Snickers yeah, in there then? <laughs> Snickers is like a step up from all those, but they're they're similar. Snickers has better clout than all of those too. I feel like Mars has a lot of clout. I can't believe nobody picked it. Yeah, like I'm a, surprised a too. Mars actually, bar? yeah. Like I think Mars is just Glossettes like a, is on the list. <laughs> Mars is just a worse Snickers, isn't it? You're never gonna let them live that <laughs> Glossettes. I took a chance. You gotta take chances. I've won. I'm not probably not gonna win this one, but I've won a bunch. And you, you don't. You don't. Ah, uh, who knows? Who knows if you'll win this one? The way the voting went in season one. <laughs> I'm gonna get my family. Yeah. Uh, my family owns a Glossettes factory. <laughs> you guys are. You guys are done. One um, letter to the CEO of Glossettes Inc. Yeah, all twelve um, fans. 
What about like seasonal like Cadbury uh, eggs? Are you guys into those? Could we have picked the Cadbury mini eggs? Because I would have. I mean, it's we. we, we I guess so. We were under doing under the bars, rules but. that we we set, we could have. But yeah. do you guys like the OG Cadbury egg, the the cream, the, the one with the egg. Cadbury cream egg? Yeah, I think it's weird. I've never had it. Really? I like. When I was younger, I was like, what is this? It's wet inside. What is this? It's gross. It's so weird. It's a little, it's a little much, but uh, they're it's okay. It's so sugary. It's just pure sugar. Yeah. They got to find a way to sell mini eggs year round because people would buy them. I they think do. The Don't texture. They? I think they, they have, they have, they, they have like Halloween ones where yeah. they call them something else. They got to pick every holiday. Like I want, you know, Valentine's Day mini eggs, <laughs> uh, Labor Day mini eggs, <laughs> <laughs> Memorial Day. Yeah, there are. Oh, look at that. Scream egg. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a good one. Scream yeah. egg. I like that. It's green. Uh, what else? Anything? Any other big big ones we missed? Just more weird ones. Uh, like take five hundred grand bounty paid. Oh, in. you're talking about the U.S. exclusive. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Dude, we never got those. U.S. or international? Like I've seen some of these in the Philippines. Oh, like, there's so many good U.K. bars. Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, like in. Um, they get the best, and they get the best quality of yeah. chocolate. Like Cadbury in like even Canada is like nowhere close. I feel close. like Cadbury no. goes hard. Like they they have like the Wonka bars mm-hmm. and they're oh bigger. they got Wonka bars here though. Mm. Yeah, they got Wonka bars here. I've seen them. And they're just bigger and they're made with the better chocolate. And the only reason why I know this is from the specialty chocolate shops we have here that import them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that candy shop on Robson. How about what you call it? That was a, that's a U.S. one. I think that one's big in the I've U.S. Never had a what never, call it. It's never been that here. That is one of my top favorite bars. Really? I, yeah. I didn't. Why did you pick it? I didn't name it because I know like you guys didn't know it. So oh. why waste it? Plus, oh, like, why like, take a risk? Like I did. yeah, why take a risk? <laughs> well, guys, that's it for the candy bar draft. This is great. I love the Kinder Surprise <laughs> eggshell. So maybe the best of the bunch. Um, we want to remind <laughs> you all if you want to pick up some Hamburger Disco merchandise, you can check out hamburgerdisco.com. Thank you for listening, and don't forget the three C's, create, collaborate, and consume. For Rum and Jay, my name is Matt, and thank you for listening to another episode of the Hamburger Disco Podcast. Mm-hmm.